In this video, I'm going to take the idea of moulds and solutions a step further. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we've got some sulfuric acid here. This is a solution of sulfuric acid. If I dissolve some of this into some water and create another solution, what would be the concentration of this new solution? So it's a little bit more complicated than the previous video where we looked at dissolving a known amount of solid in a known volume. We're effectively talking about a concept called dilution. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about some information that's on this bottle here. So you can see it says sulfuric acid and then it says one capital M. So that's the concentration of the acid. So the one M stands for one mole per decimeter cubed. So there's the information there. One capital M known as one molar. So sometimes you might see um, a request for one molar acid. The molar just is the capital M, which basically means moles per decimeter cubed. You can also see there, there's a 2N in brackets there. Technicians also use um, something called a normal scale. I don't use that. You would never be expected to use that. So I'm not even gonna mention the normal scale. But you might have been wondering what it was there for. The other piece of information I want to pick out is this here, this standard solution. So we've bought this bottle of acid in from Philip Harris and it's what we call a standard solution. What that means is we know the concentration of this solution. That's all it means. So this is a standard solution of sulfuric acid with a concentration of one molar, one mole per decimeter cubed. So what I've done is I've taken out, I've measured out 50 centimetres cubed, 50 millilitres of the sulfuric acid from the bottle and it's sitting in this measuring cylinder now. I'm going to then transfer that into this special shaped flask. This is known as a volumetric flask or a graduated flask and you can just see there that it's got this brown line here. So when, when this goes into there, it'll probably come up to about here. I'm going to top that up to this brown line and therefore we'll have a solution with a total volume of um, 250 centimetres cubed. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out the concentration of this new acid solution. One thing I want to say, when you do this for real in the lab, when you're making up proper solutions, you wouldn't use a measuring cylinder. You would use something called a pipette because measuring cylinders aren't very accurate. Um, but I'm going to do another video on making these standard solutions. So you'll see me using the correct apparatus. But it's fine just to make this point. So how do we go about calculating the concentration of our new acid solution that's in this volumetric flask? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to go back to the original solution and we're going to find out how many moles of acid we ended up putting into this flask. So if you remember, I took out 50 centimetres cubed of the acid from here. So to work out how many moles that is, the N is the moles, remember. That's calculated by multiplying the concentration by the volume in decimeters cubed. So that's one, remember the concentration is one, capital M, one molar. One times 0 0.050, which is obviously 0 0.050 moles. And that information feeds into the volumetric flask now. So we now know that inside here, we have 0 0.050 moles of sulfuric acid and that's now present in 250 centimetres cubed of water. So what is the concentration of that? Well, we've got all the terms we need, moles and volume. Let's turn that into a concentration. Now fed those numbers in. So the concentration of the new acid solution is the moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed 
0 0.050 divided by 0 0.25 comes out at 0 0.20 moles per decimeter cubed. So obviously as a chemistry teacher I'm always putting requests in to our fantastic technician Lisa to um, make up um, solutions for me. So typical request, I'm doing an experiment later on in the week, I need 500 centimetres cubed of uh, 0 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid. So what I want you to do, or what you can have a go at doing is, how much of this do we need to dissolve in that 500 centimetres cubed of water to give us this concentration? There's the formula triangle that we need to use. So we know that we want 500 centimetres cubed, so that's a volume of this particular concentration of sulfuric acid. So if we know the concentration and the volume, we can work out how many moles we need to be in that solution. So that's our first port of call. And that's how many moles we're going to need then. So it's the concentration, 0.15, multiplied by the volume in decimeters cubed, 0 0.5. So we need 0 0.075 moles of sulfuric acid. So where are we getting those from? We're getting them from here. So what do we know about this bottle? Well, we know, it's, we know the concentration is one mole per decimeter cubed. We now know that we need 0 0.075 moles of this. So we have two terms. We have the concentration and we have the moles. We can work out the volume. So let's do that. So I've fed the numbers in to the triangle. So the volume required is the moles divided by the concentration. We're just dividing by one, so we just get the same. Uh, the volume is the moles. But remember, this is coming out in decimeters cubed. So how many centimeters cubed is that? Well, we have to multiply by a thousand now. And so we get 75 cm cubed. So if we take 75 cm cubed out of here and dissolve it in 500 centimeters cubed of water, we will make some sulfuric acid with a concentration of 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed. So we'll finish off with another typical technician request type of question. So we need two liters of hydrochloric acid and it needs to have a concentration of 0.75 moles per decimeter cubed. Our stock HCl is concentrated, quite concentrated at 11.3 moles per decimeter cube. So essentially, what volume of the stock HCl do we need to dissolve into that two liters to make the concentration 0.75 moles per decimeter cubed? So if we need two liters of the concentration 0.75 moles per decimeter cubed, we can work out the number of moles needed by multiplying the concentration by the volume. So that's exactly what I've done there. I've deliberately chosen litres as a volume just to explain that litres and decimeters cubed are actually the same thing. So we don't need to change anything about the two. It just stays like that. If you think about, if you're familiar with litres and centimetres cubed, one litre is a thousand centimetres cubed, so you've still got that same uh, conversion factor of a thousand there. So the number of moles of the acid required to be in the big two litre flask would be 1.5. So I've brought the sauce bottle into play now. So you can see there we've got um, the acid, the concentration inside here is very high. It's 11.3 moles per decimeter cubed. So effectively we need 1.5 moles out of this bottle 
to go into our big two litre flask so we can make the acid of this concentration. So feeding those numbers into the volume required equals moles over concentration. We get the 1.5 moles required divided by the 11.3 moles per centimetre cube concentration gives us a volume, remember in decimeters cubed, of this number here. So how many centimetres cubed would that be? Well, we just multiply by a thousand, so that's 132.7 centimetres cubed.